Okay, I'll make you a poop stool. Yes. I have literally been asking you to make me a poop stool since we moved out of Montreal in the spring of 2019. God, I'm really liking this whole like five videos a day thing. <laughs> it's making my dreams come true. Abby doesn't need a poop stool. So I don't know whose face where you count this is. I just found this image on the internet. Okay. So this is how you use a squat toilet, which probably a lot of people watching this are like, yeah, that's a toilet. But us Western people are dumb. And are like, instead of like embracing how the body works, like look at how straight this person like line is. Just think about it. Like it's just your like colon is pointing straight down when you're squatting like this. And then it's like a, an easy poop. But instead we like sit. Anyway, so the poop stool is to try and like emulate this a little bit. I just like them. I discovered them when I was in Asia and I really like them. <laughs> when you're traveling, things get weird with your digestion. It's getting very personal. Okay, raise your feet to like the ideal height, I guess. Is that too high? Yeah. So maybe it's like- It's like almost like- Maybe like there? Sure. So like eight inches. Just the width of my feet, like- Yeah, that's good, maybe like 17. 18 inches? Sure. And then I was gonna make it like eight inches wide. Well, we should make it bigger than eight inches. Okay, ten. Should make it the length of my foot. Ten, ten inches? Yeah. Okay. 18 by 10, and then raise your foot again. What do we say, eight inches? That's good? Yeah. All right, what do we got? As Les Stroud would say, always have to come back for the camera. Our bathroom is super small, so I want to make this stool collapsible so we can stow it away when it's not in use. I made this really simple Fusion 360 model to figure out the size, the folding mechanism, and I use that to generate my cut list, which I have right here. So I think we're ready to go cut some wood. This wood came from the free coffee table that I got for the fold down table video. You should go watch that video after you watch this one. See, I do use speed squares. Alright, I got my pieces cut to size. Time to sand off this gross finish. It might not have looked like it sped up, but that was a lot of sanding. <laughs> I actually only sanded one face of these big pieces because these are gonna form the top. I just gave the bad face a light sanding because these are gonna get glued together. All right, so this is how I want the stool to go together. This middle piece will fold in into a pocket, which I still have to cut out, and then these will fold in. And for those to fold, I want to use continuous hinge. And I want it to run the whole length of the center piece the whole length of this side piece, and the whole length of this side piece. So that's 10 inches, plus 10 inches, plus 16 and a half. I need 36 and a half inches of continuous hinge. And this little piece right here is all I have. And it's the wrong color. I think it's time for a Home Depot run.
success. All right, we're back from Home Depot. And before we do anything else, I wanna cut out the pocket in this for the center support to fold into. Then we can glue the two layers of the top together, let that dry while we continue the other steps. Let's do it. And this rotates up. There we go. So if we cut right on that line, it's gonna be a super tight fit and there's gonna be no way to get your finger in and actually flip that down. So I'm gonna cut outside of this line, but I'm gonna cut right on for this line so that it folds into a nice solid stop. And I'll probably also add a little finger cutout on this side after. Let's do it. This will all get glued to the other layer, so not a big deal. The center support will go in here, and then it will flip up this way. We need like a little finger hole right here, so let's make one at the halfway point. We're ready to glue these two layers together. Take this off for now. I'm going to use some one inch long 18 gauge brad nails to hold it together while the glue dries. All right, I sanded all the pieces up to 220 grit so they're super smooth. I knocked down all the corners and the edges. But now I want to sand the little finger hole. For that, I'm going to use my rotary tool. Perfect. All right. One of the nice things about this continuous hinge is it's super easy to cut to length. All you need are some tin snips and safety glasses. So. Cut on one side, and then you can just break the rod, it's really just a piece of wire, by twisting it back and forth. There you go. Alright. So close. Fix that with the rotary tool. There we go. There we go. I should have just made more room here. I don't know why I cut this so close. So let's see. This. And we have to do a bit of hinge on either side. Yeah, it works. Okay, there we go. I'm so happy. By some stroke of luck, I found these hinges that are the perfect size for the sides. And I found exactly two of them, the amount that I need. Whew, I feel lucky. There we go. No split. I also want to carve out a matching finger groove in here, so when you reach in, you can grab that.
All right, let's go get this to Eden. <gasps> my boop stool! Oh, I gotta go try it. Better than when you propose. This is this is why we need it collapsible because yeah. the bathroom is so small that I can barely stand here and film. Oh, actually, I can get an, an okay angle right here. There you go. And then wait, flip out the support in the middle. See the little finger? Oh yeah. Watch your <gasps> fingers. Ah, so when I really need to bear down. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. You happy? Where should we put it? Put it where you're, you will store it. Oh my god, look at that. It's gone! Okay. I was just gonna say, I didn't have time to put finish on it because it was a bit of a time crunch today, but I'll put finish on it later this week. It needs finished, darling. It's a cool we'll do it. It'll protect it. <laughs> Give me some different like facial expressions. <laughs>